800 claims in a, in a in a year. I mean, even if you if this was like December 31st, that would be a great year. Um, what is your what would you say your like kind of average closed claims per day is? This is Adjuster TV. Adjusters first. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E and O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. On an average year, I'm running between 900 and 1,000 claims uh, every year. Um, I usually try to run, if it's a perfect day, it's six claims, six or seven. Um, sure. But this year, it's been you know, seven to nine claims a day. And I turn in same day. So um, run the claims, you know, uh, during the day and uh, get back, write them at night, turn them in. So uh, otherwise it just gets to be a little bit chaos, right? If you start pushing those claims off to the right, uh, it gets kind of uh, chaotic around here. So nope. that's that's normally what I like to do. But perfect day, six, six a day is what I would like to have. Gotcha. So for, for people that are watching this, that... <laughs> Uh, of those of little faith, we'll just call them. Uh, whenever I say back when I was doing hail claims, I'm like, I'm trying to get uh, my floor was six, and I'm trying to do seven to nine. For for people who don't believe that that's possible, what would you say to them? Uh, it is possible. It's uh, it's very possible, but it's not easy, right? So it's all about your. Um, it kind of boils down to your work ethic. Uh, your organization and your systems uh, that you develop and refine. Uh, without all of those things, you're not going to be able to, to do that very easily. Uh, six claims. I mean, I know adjusters right now who've been doing it, you know, five, 10 years plus, and they are comfortable doing four claims a day just because of travel and then they get home and write. It's just because their systems could be refined a little bit better but they kind of get into that groove and that's what they're comfortable doing and they they'll never kind of grow but i know multiple people that uh that i work with uh, friends of mine that i've kind of helped um show my systems and all of those guys are doing about what i'm doing one one of them is doing more actually than i'm doing so um so yeah it's it's very possible it just takes a little bit of work and fine tuning and and, and anybody can do it yeah. Yeah. So from, from like a practical standpoint, if you had to pick like maybe two things that move the needle the most for being able to close six plus claims a day, what would you say? like, for example, like macros or like, what would you say would be the two top two things that you you do that move the needle the most as far as closing claims? Well, there's three parts, right? Adjusting is basically three parts. Um, you have your, you're getting your claims in. Right. If you're doing daily work, maybe it's just a few every day. If you're on a cat, it's going to be you're going to get 20, 30, 50 dropped on you. So it's basically three parts to me. One part is receiving those claims, uh, obviously getting them routing, uh, routed and scheduled. The second uh, part is the actual inspection and the scope. And then the third part is actually the writing and turning in the claim. So if you take a microscope to those three areas, uh, they're all equally important, right? Not one is not more important than the other. Um, so, for routing and schedule, you have to be organized. You have to be able to get your files in, get them printed out, get them organized, get them on a map, figure out where they're going to go, get a hold of those people, make sure you have that all locked in. Because if you don't have your schedule locked in, uh, it's it's going to be chaos. Um, so, and there's multiple ways. Uh, to get your routing and scheduling done. The second part is the actual inspection. So I think what limits people on the inspection part is it's always like they're not exactly sure what to do once they get there, right? Uh, because there's multiple things going on. You have to engage the homeowner. Uh, you have to figure out what's going on there. And then they're going to try to lead you off different paths, right? To They want to show you the the damaged siding on the back right of the house right away they want to take you right there so it's it's you got to figure out that process and then once you're actually inspecting you have to have your system right what do you do some people like to look at the sides of the house first uh, the elevations some of them like to do the roof first uh, some of them may want to go inside if there's damage first and see where that damage is going so 
you really have to figure out what your system is going to be uh, and then lock it in because um, where people start to get slowed down is they don't have that system. Uh, they don't know where to start. So they're starting in arbitrary places uh, and then their photos are going to be a hot mess too, right? So you have that part. Then once you get back, you have to write your, your estimate. So all the things that you've done up to that point, especially with the inspection, um, if you haven't done those things in, in a clear order um, and your system's not, not dialed in, then when you're writing the claim, you're kind of all over the place, right? Your scope notes might be hard to read or weird or out of order. Your pictures, uh, the pictures are one of the most important things. Those are out of order, right? So now you're spending your time trying to put those back uh, and get those in order and try to figure that out. Then when you're writing the estimate, um, I know people right now, again, that have been doing it 10 plus years, they they write their estimates line by line. I mean, they're literally, they know the cat, they know the codes and the selector codes and the categories and they're, and they're doing it. Um, even those guys, it takes them a while to write the estimate, right? Because you're still having to go in and do stuff. So, um, uh, so for me, um, routing and scheduling uh, software is a big time. So if you can get software, it's, it's, it's going to take a ton of time off your hands for the actual inspection <clears throat> coming up with that system. I'm going to take my photos in this order and this way every time. Uh, how, I'm going to, how I'm going to do my estimate. Macros, like you mentioned, macros are huge. Uh, a lot of people don't like to use macros. Uh, a lot of um, carriers and IA firms will say don't use macros. But it's just like anything else. If you if you get used to the macros, you know what the macros are going to do. Um, it will save you, all of these things will save you time. So for me, I obviously, you can see behind me, I have my own routing and scheduling software, so that saves me hours and hours. On my photos, uh, my inspection, I went to a school where they hammered in, this is the system. This is the SOP, standard operating procedure for this. This is how you're gonna do it. That becomes muscle memory. Then the estimate. The estimate is, is very simple. If, if everything else is going smoothly and you've locked in that inspection, the estimate is only going to take a very little amount of time to, to uh, finish, and then you get it in. So all three parts uh, play into your inspection and how many claims you're going to do. So all three are equally as important to make sure uh, that you're getting them all done in time. If you wanna watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members-only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.